So today we're going to talk about peer editing. And we have a peer editing checklist that we're going to be using. So everyone has a piece of writing. All right, This is, happens to be from our personal narrative or our memoir piece of writing. Everyone has a, a piece of writing that they've completed. Okay. So what we're going to talk about today is peer editing. So the first thing that you're going to do is you're going to write your name on your paper. Everyone will have one of these papers. It's not just one per group. It's one for every person. Okay? So I'm going to write my name, Miss Dunton. Okay? And then my partner's name. Alright? Whoever my partner is, you have to write their name there. Alright? And then the date is going to be 10, 14, 14. Okay, the first thing that... Let's look at this checklist because you have to go through it in order. Okay, I read my story to my partner. Okay, so I would read my story. I used to live in Japan. I found my cat Hikaru in Japan. Hikaru mean light in Japanese. And I noticed an error there already. I'm just going to add that in because I noticed it while I was reading it. Hikaru means light in Japanese. When I was walking to the store, I heard a tiny meow. I looked all around until I discovered a tiny fluff ball of a kitten. He was white with black spots. He looked like a cow. Sometimes I call him Cow Kitty. I picked him up, but I couldn't find his home, so I took him back to my place. Okay, in this story, if it's personal narrative, we'll also have a lesson on it. Okay, but mine doesn't have the lesson yet. So, I read my story to my partner. Yes, I did that. My partner, who I guess I'll call my class. Okay, you will be my partner. My partner listened carefully to my story. I felt like you listened carefully to my story. So I would check this. If the partner doesn't listen carefully, guess what? You've got to read it again. So make sure that your partner's listening to you. And if your partner's not listening, make sure you get my attention so that I can help you out. Because we definitely want your partner listening. Okay? Then next, my partner read his or her story to me. So next what would happen is your partner would read the story just like I read the story. I listened carefully to my partner's story. You don't want to be daydreaming about supper time or recess or gym class. All right, You want to be listening carefully to your partner's story. Then I read, now listen to this guys, this is, this is intensive, this is hard work. Okay, I'm not saying this is a very easy thing and it's going to take you two minutes, no. This should take you a bit of time because look what comes next. I read my partner's story three more times. Okay, do not just read the story one time. So after you read stories, you switch. Okay, you are reading your partner's story. Your partner is reading your story. Each time you read it, you are checking for something. The first time you read it, you are checking for spelling. Okay? Some of you I know had words you didn't know how to spell. And one strategy we talked about is to circle those words. Okay? And then you can write a little SP beside them. All right? If you weren't sure how to spell them. So, so everything doesn't need to be spelled perfectly in your first draft, but you've got a friend there who should be able to help you out a little bit. Okay? And if you don't know how to spell the word together, there's are some strategies. You've got your spelling handbook that you can look in. All right, you can use dictionaries. Dictionaries. All right, um, you can ask the teacher or a friend to help you, but your friends are busy right now, so please don't bother other, other friends, but you can do that, okay? The next time you read it through, the next time you read it through, you look for, so after you did that, you read it one time and you checked it. Okay, the next time you read it through, you check for capitals. Capitals are all completely correct. Now, sometimes I notice when you're talking about I do this or I do that or when I went to the store, sometimes you're, listen up everybody, sometimes you're still making a little I. When I have I by itself, should it be a little I? Never, never. This should be a big I if I'm talking about myself. I went, okay? And especially if it's at the beginning of a sentence, it's always capitalized. I, okay? So I want you using that. Um, and then you're going to read it through. You're going to check and make sure there's capitals. 
Also, completely correct. I don't want to see capitals in the beginning, in the middle of your sentence. In the beginning, yes. In the middle, no. Okay, if I want to say, I went to, look, my house. Okay, can anybody spot the problem with this sentence here? Look right up here. I went to my house. There's a big problem in this sentence. Let's zoom right in and take a look. Okay. Raise your hand if you can spot the problem with this sentence. Okay, I went to my house. Good, a lot of you are spotting the problem. Is this the problem that you spotted? Okay, if you're finding capitals in the middle of a sentence, you just give it one cross through. Okay, if you just give it one cross through, that means make it little. Okay, that's much better. I went to my house. Now, what if you noticed that it was like this? I went to, and we'll say, I went to my house. What can you do to make this a big I? Because you know this I is wrong, right? This I isn't going to work for the beginning of our sentence or when we're talking about me. So we have to draw three lines underneath it. Okay, and these three lines are direction. Those three lines mean, hey, this is wrong. You need to capitalize it. Okay, thumbs up, thumbs sideways, thumbs down. How are we doing? Okay, very good. So we'll work on this. This is kind of tricky. So you read through it, okay? You read through it to make sure. Capitals are all correct. Next, sentences are all complete and correct. Obviously, I went to is not a complete sentence. Not at all. Okay, so that's not correct. You want to work on that with your partner to make them know what it is and then uh, make sure you know what it's supposed to be. But I went to my house? Now that's a good one. Okay, so the third time through, you check these two. And punctuation is all correct. I went to my house and look, I had a period. So that's good. All right. But look, if I wrote this, did I go? Did I go to my house? This should not be a period. This should be a question mark. So you have to check for the right punctuation to make sure. So you do that when you go through it. So this is time number one time number two, and then time number three when you read through it. So you've actually heard the story four times at this point. Then I want you to ask two questions to your partner about the story. So in this one, I left my lesson off, didn't I? So my first question could be, what is your lesson? Okay, and then I would have to answer that question. Okay, and it might be, don't pick cats up off the street. Okay, or, or something like that. Might be, it's easy to find lovable little animals on the way to the store. Okay, there's lots of lessons I could choose and I would write it there. Then for question number two, I would go through and I would think, hmm, what else do I want to know? Okay, so I took him back to my place. What happened next? Maybe I want to know what happened next. So I'll write that. What happened what happened next? Okay, because I didn't really finish my writing. I should have written a little bit more to explain a little more about it. Okay, and then your partner will ask you, and then you will ask your partner these same kind of questions. This, along with your corrected writing, will go back together in your writing folder. Okay, so this is uh, just sort of an explanation about how we do peer editing and how we use this checklist.